Hello everyone, welcome to KDD Training Solutions and myself Mohan. Sometimes in competitive examinations, we might fail to answer the complex problem correctly. The reason, we may not be familiar with the concept of powers and radicals. This session explains the fundamentals of indices, the fundamental rules of indices. So you can expect problems from certs and indices directly or indirectly in many competitive exams like campus interviews and government competitive examinations. Now let's enter into first question. Now you have 9 power 8 into 9 power minus 6. On right hand side you are looking for fundamental rules of indices where you can write a power m into a power n as a power m plus n. Now a power m by a power n can be written as a power m minus n. a power m to the whole power n can be written as a power m into n where a power m can be written as 1 by a power minus m or you can also write a power minus m as 1 by a power m. Now how we can write 9 power 8 into 9 power 6? So which is in the first fundamental rules of indices that is a power m into a power n. Now instead of a you have 9. So 9 power instead of m we have 8 plus 6 can be I mean plus n can be written as minus 6. Now you can write it as 9 power 2 which is nothing but 81. So answer for this question is 81. This is really really simple right. Now moving to question number 2. Okay you try to pass the video for 5 to 10 seconds solve it then again play the video. Hope you are with the answer. Now 9 power 7 by 10 into 9 power minus 1 by 5. So this one is also in the format of first fundamental rules of indices that is a power m into a power n. So you can take 9. Now instead of m we have 7 by 10 and instead of n we have minus 1 by 5. Now here you have two different denominators. Now take LCM of 10 and 5 so that you will get 10. Now 9 power 7 by 10 minus 10 power 2 I mean 10 in numerator you have 2. So 9 power 5 by 10. Now 5 by 10 can be written as 9 power 1 by 2. Now you can write 9 as 3 square. So 3 square to the whole power 1 by 2. Now this is in the format of a power m to the whole power n. So you can write it as 3 power 2 into 1 by 2. So when you cancel this you get 3. So answer for this question is 3. So this question is really simple right. Now moving to next question. 343 by 2 by 3 into 49 power 2. So you can pass the video for 5 to 10 seconds, then work, then finally play the video. Hope you are with the answer. Now how you can write 343 by power 2 by 3? So you can write 343 as 7 power 3 to the whole power 2 by 3. And 49 can be written as 7 square to the whole power 2. Now this is in the format of a power m to the whole power n. So you can write it as 7 power 3 into 2 by 3 so that 3 3 get automatically cancelled. So 7 power 2 into 2 into 2 4. Now a power m into a power n. So this is 7 power 6. So answer for this question is 7 power 6. This is really simple right. Now moving to next question. 0 0.25 to the whole power 11 plus 0 0.5 to the whole power 24. So this question seems to be little challenging and you have 4 options. Now how we can write 0 0.25? You can write 0 0.25 as 0 0.5 square to the whole power 11 plus 0 0.5 power 24. Now 0 0.5 power 2 to the whole power 11 can be written as 0 0.5 power 22 plus 0 0.5 power 24. Okay now wait. Now most of the candidates at this step will make a mistake. Now you might think it is a power m plus a power n. So you will write a power m plus n that is 0 0.5 power 46, 22 plus 24, 46. So if you choose option A then your answer is obviously wrong. So this is the most popular mistake that candidates will make in examinations because you don't have such a formula. So again reduce this 0 0.5. Now how you can write 0 0.5? So 0 0.5 is nothing but half right. So you can write it as 1 by 2 to the whole power 22 plus 1 by 2 to the whole power 24 1 by 2 to the whole power 24 now this one is in the format of a by b to the whole power m so a by b to the whole power m can be written as a power m by b power m right so this is 1 power 22 that is 1 by 2 power 22 plus 1 power 24 is 1 and 2 power 24 now in denominator you have 2 power 22 and here you have 2 power 24. So you have to make it as common. So when you take LCM, 2 power 24 is higher, right? So here you have to multiply this by 2 power 2 
and here you have to multiply this by 2 power 2 because 2 power 2 into 2 power 22 is nothing but 2 power 24 so you will get the same denominator right so that we are multiplying it by 2 power 2 so 2 power 2 is 4 4 by 2 power 24 into 1 by 2 power 24 so you can write like 5 by 2 power 24 but you don't have any options in denominator here so you can write this 2 power 24 when taking to numerator you can write it as 5 into 2 power minus 24 because this is the format of final structure of indices that we discussed now moving to next question so answer for this question is option b 27 power minus 1 by 3 plus 9 power minus 1 okay take a break play the video i mean work out and play the video now how we can write 27 you can write 27 as 3 cube so 3 cube to the whole power minus 1 by 3 plus 9 power minus 1 now you can easily cancel this 3 and 3 so you are left with 3 power minus 1 plus you can write 9 as 3 square so 3 square power minus 1 so 3 power minus 1 plus 3 power minus 3 now you can write 3 power minus 1 as 1 by 3 and 3 power minus 3 can be written as 1 by okay so this is actually 2 right because 2 into minus 1 you get 2 only so this is 3 power 2 so you get 1 by 9 now when you take LCM you get 9 at denominator so you have to multiply this by 3 and numerator by 3 so 3 into 1 3 and 3 into 3 9 so 3 plus 1 you get 4 4 by 9 so answer for this question is 4 by 9 so this question is also really simple now moving to the last question of this session 9 power 2 into 18 power 4 by 3 power 16 so this question seems to be a little challenging so please listen it carefully now 9 power 2 so how we can write 9 so you can write 9 as 3 square so 3 square to the whole power 2 into 18 can be written as 9 into 2 right so 9 into 2 to the whole power 4 whole divided by 3 power 16 now again you can write 9 as 3 square right so 3 power 2 to the whole power 2 can be written as 3 power 4 into 9 uh, so 9 can be written as 3 square so you can write it as 3 square into 2 to the whole power 4 and whole divided by you have 3 power 16 now you can write it 3 power 4 into see 3 power 2 to the whole power 4 so when you take separately now you can uh, write a into b to the whole power m as a power m into b power m both are same right so this is another important structure please make a note of it so this is 3 power 2 to the whole power 4 you can write it as 3 power 8 into 2 power 4 whole divided by 3 power 16 so 3 power 4 into 3 power 8 can be written as 3 power 12 into 2 power 4 whole divided by 3 power 16 now here you have 3 power 12 and here you have 3 power 16 so you can take this 3 power 16 to numerator so that you get 3 power minus 16 so 3 power so i am writing it separately so 3 power 12 into 3 power minus 16 so when you solve it you get 3 power minus 4 right now but you have but you don't have any value and numerator stating minus so you can bring back this 3 power minus 4 to denominator so you get 2 power 4 by 3 power 4 now 2 power 4 is 16 and 3 power 4 is 81 so answer for this question is option c 16 by 81 now hope you are clear with the familiar concepts of certs and indices right so in upcoming session we shall discuss some more fundamental rules of indices and certs until that stay connected with career d training solutions and if you have any doubt please pause it and comment session below thanks a lot for watching have a nice day